G'day, this is Simon from the Brackets here at a crazy 4th of July weekend here at South OC Cars and Coffee. We are absolutely overflowing. We've started filling up the other parking lot. People are driving around and can't find anywhere to park, so we're gonna to have to start putting them downstairs. Amazing turnout of cars and motorcycles. Absolutely incredible. Let's swing the camera around and go for a walk. Okay, so starting off my Camaro James's and then Jay's uh, Ford GT, Tony's F12. David's beautiful uh, California. McLaren, 675LT and then a uh, 650S Ferrari. Beautiful, beautiful little uh, Dino there, isn't that lovely? And then more Ferraris and uh, McLaren here. A couple of McLaren 720S sitting there. This um, very tough Porsche, very, very quick car actually for sale. A couple of Lamborghinis and then uh, rolling along Audi R8, another really nice Ferrari sitting there, another one, yeah, that's Paul's, and then uh, a couple of Porsches, uh, GTS, and a really nice GT3 RS, two of them side by side, that one in love, orange, love it, uh, R35, and then uh, three Audi R8s through there, going through there, four of them actually, five of them, a whole row of them through there, a beautiful, beautiful Aston Martin here, isn't that lovely, and then uh, a uh, Maserati, Porsche, Porsche, and then uh, one of the original biscuits down there. The reason there's a lot of noise here is people are driving around trying to get parks. It's just insane. Classic old Ford Hot Rod, Chevy pickup, Baja bug in there, Volkswagen. Volkswagen, a whole row of them through there. Good turnout of Volkswagens. Lifted uh, F250 there, GTI with a purple wrap on it. Thing. Very, very nice of a little Volkswagen here. Very, very, very straight. Look at that sticker on the spare wheel that's there and the interior. Really beautiful looking car. That. Not original braided still lines, etc. in the trunk, but still nevertheless really nice, very neat. Another one of the regulars here, also a beautiful car. Pontiac Star Chief, next to Bob's Thunderbird here. This thing's so rare, look at that the uh, suicide doors on it. Very cool. Yeah. Corvette. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Look at that uh, motor in the seat. Oh, okay. Very, very nice. Corvette. Cadillac. Oh, my wife has a beautiful BMW. Good morning. Classic old Mercury 4 truck, one of our regulars. Uh, Porsche. 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 Hellcat, actually, Demon, De De sorry. No, Hellcat, sorry. Um, apparently, this is a factory wrap, I was told. Who knew? Who knew? Um, Mustangs, all our regulars. Cobra replica. More Mustangs. Robert brought out his Shelby, uh, sorry, Celine today with that uh, color, uh, changing color wrap on it. Um, Lexus. And the, the two cars that went in the Karma GTs that went on the Gold Rush Rally, which is kind of cool. And then last car on this end, it's a cool looking hot rod. 34. Cobra replica with a 427. It's true, and it is. Volkswagen Porsche. A uh, Prowler. Uh, interesting. Uh, the front of it looks slightly different. A uh, 56 F100 Corvette. Great looking uh, Chevy there. 62 Impala. Bronco, 65 Riviera, with a Mustang in that bullet colour scheme, another one there, classic little uh, MG, a uh, Scat Pack Charger, Pontiac Bonneville, Mitsubishi uh, uh, 3200 GT, I think they were a Jeep, beautiful 427 in this Corvette, isn't that lovely, uh, Mercedes, a uh, Rambler, another Mitsubishi there, Mercedes, Beautiful old Mercedes there, and then a previous car of the week with a big red looking truck. Good morning. Now, this is a bit of a rare car. I actually saw one of these at the uh, British Motor Museum I was in last week. It's actually a, uh, a console Capri. So, uh, really interesting to see. Very interesting. So, actually, from the UK, as I said, I was in a uh, motor museum. You might have seen a live video I did last week on Facebook from this motor museum in the Lakes District in the UK, and there's one of those there. Grand Wagoneer, Beetle. Mini, interesting little wheels on that. A uh, another Cobra replica, 
Lotus and then uh, Thing uh, BMW Z8 <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of masters there Brian's very very tough looking G-Wagon check this thing out so they uh, sell all these aftermarket products uh, G-Wagons G-WagonPass.com look at the stuff on this thing all this beautiful carbon fiber and the size of the wheels on this thing this thing is a monster absolutely brings out the capabilities of that that vehicle gorgeous little Alfa Romeo and then another previous car of the week winner this gorgeous little uh, uh, micro bus now you'll notice there we've got the uh, San Diego um, Southern California blood bank there we're really proud to be able to support that event thanks to everybody who's gone in there and donated blood uh, Porsche Chevy truck e-type Jag Porsche great little, little old target there look at those um, um, spotlights along there very cool Porsche interesting a lot of uh, a lot of um, bolts on stuff on this thing wide body kit and everything man somebody's put a lot of work time and effort and money into that GMC truck a uh, Chevy a uh, Datsun 240Z I think that is Beetle uh, Ford 27 Roadster a uh, Corvette makes it look like an older one Mercedes AMG actually Chevelle uh, uh, El, El Camino beautiful 69 Camaro there one of our regulars more Chevys through here Corvette another uh, Mustang great looking uh, it's interesting with the motor of this thing brand new Roush so very cool 56 wagon with a Roush in, new Roush engine in it. Mustang bit of Mopar muscle this time look at this very nice 383 in that thing this is really interesting this is a uh, Buick 8 and the 8 is actually uh, uh, in line look at that crazy very cool uh, Volkswagen interesting uh, Datsun 240 or 260C Mustang a couple of uh, C6 Corvettes there Mustang and then uh, rolling through all our regulars here good morning gentlemen good to see you all as usual my pleasure my pleasure good to have you here Chevelle and then rolling through Falcons and then uh, crowd around this what have we got in here uh, work under this thing look at that and then uh, 56 Chevy down there and then down here a uh, 50 Ford really straight black 442 very nice original old Volvo there M3 a uh, 33 Cabriolet Firebird inline 6 Mustang another Mustang there DeLorean one of the original beach buggies based on a Beetle there five glass body Mustang El Camino lovely looking uh, Corvette there some uh, older then slightly newer and then newer still a uh, that's nice isn't it for sale all my power muscle there a uh, couple of C7s through there another one three of them and then uh, oops somebody looks like they're leaking a bit of coolant down here more Corvettes here Cadillac another Corvette through there and then uh, BMW Focus a, uh, I think that's a ooh, somebody's clutch is smelling Buick uh, Chevelle and then a uh, beautiful Riviera Supra here Grand Wagoneer 70 Dodge Challenger so it's got a newer motor in that Acura beautiful old Mercedes S2000 Bruce is, Bruce is very nice looking orange Chevy truck. Shelby. And then a uh, Land Cruiser up here. I think that's an uh, 80 series from memory. A R35. And then look at all the beautiful uh, GTRs through here. Look at this. All those 32s and uh, 34s. Really nice. And then Porsche here. Mustang. Volvo. Subaru. Mustang. Thank you, mate. Good to see you. All right, mate. Pontiac G8. Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. Jeffrey's very cool looking Jeep. AMX. Gen 5 Camaro. Beautiful Z28. Love that car. Boxer. Corvette. Another one. This has been a previous car of the week. We're going to check that out. That's running that LT4. Make sure to go back and look at our previous car of the week videos. This thing is amazing. Built for SEMA show. 
more Corvettes really. I love the fact that this is an original colour. You just don't expect to see that in that era. Aston Martin, Brabus, another great looking uh, 55 Corvette, beautiful. Mitsubishi, another Corvette there. 57 Chevy, BMW, Mustang, great looking Shelby GT350, a uh, Charger Hellcat there. <laughs> Mazda, Datsun, and then a uh, Corvette, and a, another Corvette, another one through there, another one through there, big old Fairlane through here, excuse me, Volkswagen, another one there, look at that, tough looking uh, 390 and that, Alfa Romeo, so many spectators here today, just so good to see, beautiful looking E-type Jag there, and then coming through, look at this thing. This is for the person who likes to get into a car and carve a canyon. This thing is amazing. Look at the, the way the suspension and everything works. This is as close as you're going to get to a uh, racing car on the street. Very one. Powered, powered by Cosworth, who of course have got such a race pedigree. Amazing. Uh, rolling right along. Another classic Ford. I think we've had that as a car of the week winner too. 55 Chevys, two of them. Uh, and then finally this Ford uh, delivery up here. Very nice. Now here's a hot rod from the past, I'm guessing this was probably built in the, uh, the 90s, gauging by those sort of billet wheels, maybe early 2000s, but look at the chopper roof on it. And also the glass, notice there's no um, framework around the glass, they've actually put it in flush and flat, so I'm guessing early 2000s on that, very cool. Ghost and Flames on it too. Uh, Jaguar, Mustang, GTO. Another Mustang there. It's a crazy, crazy T-Buck that comes, comes along. Great looking T-Buck, dark bucket, big block. Corvette. Mustang, another one through here. Big uh, Ford Custom there. Really nice looking Chevy truck, 62 C10 there. E-Type Jag, another Mustang. 68 Camaro, running a 327, very nice. Chevelle, C7. And then uh, more Corvettes running through here. Finishing up with a C7 Z06 Jeep. And then Andrew's uh, Mustang, good morning. Another Mustang. ZL1 1LE. Uh, uh, another uh, Camaro there running a, uh, the, a uh, LSA engine Porsche. 59 Chevy, very nice Alfa Romeo. Hey, this is cool. Check this out. This is like uh, car of the week type material there. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, Willys. Uh, e type Jag there, Porsche. Interesting looking uh, hot rod there, very different style. 34 uh, 5 window coupe there. Um, nice looking rod that we've also, I think we've had this as a car of the week as well. Very nice. Corvette, El Camino, Supra, Gen 6, next to a Gen 5 Camaro, Mustang, and then uh, Jeb's Mustang, and next to Jeff's mus uh, Mustang with this uh, Whipple on this. He's just got this thing back on the road after a Fair bit of time doing a lot of work to it. He had a couple of mishaps in it, unfortunately, but great to see it back on the road. Genesis, a uh, Charger, Cadillac, Challenger, and then a uh, Hellcat over here. Now, I just want to take a moment to point out there's a heap of vehicles parked along that fire lane along here. And um, I put on the social media this morning, please do not park no. along those fire lanes. That's enough to get this show shut down by the fire department. So I put that on Facebook. Please never park in these fire zones again. Um, there is a likelihood that if you park there, you will get towed, okay? So please don't ever park there again. Row of Corvettes through there. New, and then a couple of older ones. Maserati, a couple of Maserati side by side. M3, Mercedes. Chevelle, Challenger, Porsche. A little Nissan running some air right there. Uh, this is the new, uh, the current model SS Camaro front end. Um, I'm not really typically one that tries to be judgmental on videos, but I gotta tell you that this front end to me is a bit of a worry because I've heard that the uh, they're gonna kill the next Camaro. I know they've changed the front of this front end of this, but for me, that, Front of that Camaro looks too much like that front of that Honda. 
tell me that I'm wrong. Look at the two of them. If this thing was red, that almost look identical. So that is not the front of a muscle car. And I think Chevy have been since told this and they've, they've changed it. But but someone in the design department of Chevrolet needs to be taken out the back and given a good good smack, I think. I think they, but given the fact they've changed it so quickly, they've probably had that. BMW, wow, look at this Lotus. This is very, 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 very cool. Very cool. So, look at that. So next to this little Lotus is this uh, hot rod. Um, this is crazy, look at it. It's got this Ford inline six in it. Look how long the uh, the chassis's been been extended on the front of it. And it's been, uh, the body of it looks like it's all been channeled. I made the whole frame. You made the whole frame? And then you've channeled the body on this as well, haven't you? No, it's a high boy, it sits right on the frame. Oh, okay, you've sat it on the frame. As a, yeah. so, so the difference between a high boy and a low boy is the low boy, actually the body will sit down right. under the frame. A high boy is when the body sits on top of the frame, which, which is what gives it that look. So uh, on to another. So there's the, the, the previous version of the Camaro. Doesn't that look more like a muscle car should look? Just saying. Sorry if you're the owner of that other one, but it just had to be said. Challenger, Mustang, Mercedes, another classic Mercedes, beautiful convertible there. 67 uh, SS Camaro, 327, uh, Cobra replica, C7 Corvette, old Land Rover, another C7, nice 4.2 pulling in here. Jeep, Thunderbird. 57 Chevy, C6, BMW there. Please try and align yourself in the park. This guy's half on the park behind him, which means nobody can park behind him. Waste of his parking space. Uh, Subaru, a couple of uh, Camaros there. 396 in that Chevelle. Another Cobra replica. Another uh, C6 Camaro. Porsche, 55 Chev, two of them side by side. Classic Corvette there, two of them. R8, Porsche 914, Mustang, next to another Mustang. Next to another classic Volvo here, this is the station wagon, look at that. Very nice to see. Okay, over this road, we've got an AMG next to a uh, this, this Nismo here. You know, these Dukes, like them or hate them, the thing I, I think is great is that they've got a cult following and they're getting another generation of people into cars. And if this is what they're into, and this is what they're having fun modifying, and if they can afford to do it, well then all power to them. I'd much rather see a group of people, a group of kids driving around in a modified Duke like this, than a whole lot of people who just get into a boring Prius and are not into cars at all. So that's cool. Polaris Slingshot, very fun driver, that's for sure. Nova, Mustang, Mustang, classic old International Harvester, love that thing. Very nice looking uh, Porsche there. A little bit weather beaten there. Uh, BMW there. It's like somebody's given it a spray paint that didn't stick. Great condition that little Miata there. This is interesting. This is a Plymouth, actually for sale. Bright looking thing. Looks great. Uh, beautiful looking uh, Land Cruiser there. Cadillac. Chevy uh, SS. Now check this out. This is kind of cool. This is a um, satin, right? These things did not come with that. That's running an LS transplant in this thing. Uh, a fast 102 millimeter uh, intake manifold. This thing would be an absolute animal to drive. You know, the interesting thing, these LS motors are not that much heavier than a lot of the other blocks or engines that are, these things were fitted with originally. So, you know, this thing would be insane. Look at the, what they've done with the dashboard in it. Interesting. Great to see. Corvette. Interesting hood on that uh, C300 there. Mustang. 57. Steel wheels on that's kind of cool. Coupe de Ville, big Cadillac there. 56 delivery. Mustang through there. Chevy 3100. That looks like the same colour as that Corvette we saw earlier. Very cool. Uh, Ford. Little Datsun 280Z. Very nice little uh, Apache. Look at this. You know, one of the cool things about these Chevy pickups is they were trying to give them a lot of style in this era. So if we come along and look at the bed of this thing, they're actually making the bed. This is a Fleetwood. They were actually putting a lot more style in them. Some of them, and I don't know if this is, actually had fiberglass beds on them so they could give them a lot more style, but really cool to see. Volkswagen, BMW, Mustang, a couple of them side by side. Hellcat Charger. 55 Chevy, 
It's a 210, I think. It's got the pillar on the back. Great looking old Ford there, 1931. Women had their car. BMW, and then just jumping out the top of these people, Porsche. That's actually a Holden Statesman, their long wheelbase one, I think. Where's the Commodore? Might be. Let's have a look. Front end on it is the, actually the HSV front end. Let's have a look. Yep, it is actually based on the Statesman or the Caprice. These are the cars they actually bring over here as a police car, and um, but they're like the Pontiac G8, but a slightly longer wheelbase. It's got a different uh, front end on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, BMW, another BMW there. And then uh, Porsche, and then uh, some Cadillacs in a row. Volkswagen thing, and then uh, Maserati and Corvette. Cobra replica, Bonneville. Mercedes, beautiful old Porsche there. Mustang GT350H, a uh, aerial Atom, very cool, Acura. RS Focus, that'd be a quick little car. BMW Tacoma, another RS. Very quick car. WRX Raptor, Cadillac CTSV, that's the coupe. Subaru, BMW, little RX7 there. Focus ST Evo, a, uh, looks like a uh, Sylvia. Mustang, Saturn, Corvette. Great looking old Mercedes there, Rubicon, SD Focus, AMG, old Ford Deluxe, look at the ghost of flames on that thing, Miata, Corvette, Pontiac GTO, love what they've done with their sticker on the window, this is a uh, tribute to Holden, that's Holden's logo, the uh, the line, and they've sort of integrated into a, into a uh, Pontiac logo as well, so nice little stuff here. Really well done. A um, bit of aftermarket stuff done on this thing as well. They, they were running an LS2 in these things and uh, they put a catch can on there, um, which is kind of neat. So, it's cold in air intake. Uh, Z06, all Corvettes, great old Buick there. Porsche, another Porsche, another Focus RS. Got three of them here this morning. It's classic, isn't it? That's uh, quite cool. Infinity BMW. BMW M3, uh, another C7, and then a uh, Charger. A couple of interesting things on the front. I have no idea what this is. It says Marathon on the side of it. I have no idea. Obviously not the original trim in the thing, but um, that's what I love about seeing things. I don't know what it is. Check a Marathon. Wow, very cool. If somebody's reading, can uh, knows what it is, you can put a comment Low, that would be great. Next to it, really nice looking Thunderbird. Another Thunderbird here. We got a thing. Hot Rod. Invicta. 57 Chev. Okay, I mentioned we overflowed. Here's a really nice looking uh, Gen 5 Camaro. Really well done. Uh, running a Vortex Supercharger. Big brakes on this thing. And uh, Sparco quick release steering wheel, hearse shifter, Sparco seats, cage, lots of carbon fibre on it too, which looks great, really nice. Uh, next to it, classic old Stingray, beautiful old Challenger, actually for sale. GTX running a 440, this uh, really lovely looking uh, Z28 69, beautiful looking car, cost 302 in those things. Um, Corvette, Porsche, very nice. This beautiful gold wing uh, Mercedes, classic car, one of our regulars, very nice. Austin Healey, R8, As Aston Martin, love the way the hood opens on these things, or as I should say, being a British car, the bonnet, love the way the bonnet opens on this. AMG, Porsche, Toyota truck all lifted there. Really nice, Chevy, Challenger, Chevy. And this is kind of cool, isn't it? Look at this, this uh, hot rod. I kind of like it because it looks like it's uh, in the process of being built, but I bet this is the way they've, they've kept it intentionally. Look at that flathead in that. Really interesting. Full seats. That's pretty bare. I love it. Love how, how basic it is. Patina finish on it. Very nice. Massive big Cadillac there. Next to it, another old Ford. And then look at this thing. This has been a Car of the Week winner as well. Love this. This. Um, 
Uh, this is the same block as they use in the 409. I can't remember if this was actually the 409 or the slightly smaller one, but um, big telltale sign is those scallops or cutaways in the, in the head. Uh, Bronco up this side. Corvette, 57 Chevy running an LSA, same motor they used in the uh, Cadillac CTS-V and the uh, previous iteration of the ZL1 Camaro. Uh, another great car, look at this beautiful looking 31 Ford uh, look at that uh, flathead and that, lovely. Another great regular there, that classic old hot rod. Another challenge of this thing here, another one, look at that. I just love all of these rods. Just so good, look at the way that the steering, uh, the windscreen's all swept back on that one. Uh, M4, little Subaru, Lexus, another Lexus, um, another Subaru. Driving through there, Audi RS5, that'd be a quick little car, S2000, and then a Porsche, Three of them in the row, actually. Roller Susa motorcycles, uh, Harley. A few of them through here. Good morning. Look at them all. It's great. BMW. This thing sounded really nice when it came in. It's a real sport bike. Look, you don't really think of BMW. Well, I don't at least of BMW doing that. This thing, very nice. Harley, BMW, and then uh, Triumph. Now this, I think this is a truck. No, this is a Bonneville. I know we've got a trucks in here somewhere. I want to show you something, but. Um, this is really nice, very, very nice. Next one, Kawasaki. Harley, and then a motor cozy. Oh, I love this, love the color. Really nice, very, very clean. Uh, actually, if you're after a good motorcycle, my friend, close friend Darren, really good friend, is selling this. He actually wants to buy a bigger Harley um, that he can take his wife, Sean, on the back with it. Um, he's done a lot of work to this thing. You can see different wheels, a lot of blacked out stuff, uh, different headlights. Uh, different mirrors, different covers, saddlebags, the list goes on and on and on. This thing's actually for sale. So uh, if you're after a Harley, this thing's a bargain because it's had so much, so many optional parts under it. Uh, then, Pete, my great friend Pete, this is his Ducati that he's just picked up. This thing is super cool. I mean, this is like a classic, classic beam to, um, Ducati. Look at it. It's just, it's just real classic motorcycle. This might have to be a contender for a uh, car of the week or one of the future weeks. Uh, BMW. Another BMW here. Another one of these RRs. Honda. Very nice. And then another BMW. A lot of BMWs this morning. Great to see. Well, that's it for another week of South OC Cars and Coffee. What a crazy morning this morning. Huge turnout. Such a great variety of different motorcycles and cars and, and hot rods and everything. So great to see. I just want to give a bit of a shout out to all the guys who uh, held down the fort while we were away on vacation uh, to Todd, to Robert, to Jay, uh, Tony, um, Bob, all of you guys who came along and helped out to make sure that the show went smoothly, really, really greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. Big thank you, of course, the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here um, and also for, for the uh, Southern California Blood Bank for coming along as well and doing their bit, which is great. Uh, thank you to Ruby's, of course, for bringing out the coffee and the donuts. Don't forget, on the 20th, we are going to have a very, very special guest, Hollywood A-list shooting a TV show here. I can't say who it is yet, uh, but you'll want to come along and meet him. So everybody have a great week. I hope you've had a great 4th of July uh, long weekend. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.